The Ugandan business landscape is dotted with influential family dynasties, and each has its own unique story. Take the Kiwanukas, for instance. When Marion Kiwanuka was appointed as the country's finance minister, she drew upon her family's expansive business expertise to spearhead economic reforms, showcasing the powerful synergy between the clan's political clout and entrepreneurial prowess. Similarly, the Madani family's century-old Madani group has evolved from a humble enterprise into a diversified conglomerate, a testament to the enduring vision and adaptability that define Uganda's wealthiest families. The Kiwanuka family, led by the dynamic duo of Mohan and Marion Kiwanuka, has built a sprawling business empire that spans a diverse array of sectors, including media, horticulture, agriculture, real estate, and plastics. At the helm of this vast conglomerate is Marion Kiwanuka, a renowned economist and politician who served as Uganda's Minister of Finance from 2011 to 2015. Marion's expertise and strategic leadership have been instrumental in guiding the family's investments and shaping their influence beyond the private sector. As a respected economic advisor to the Ugandan president, she has leveraged her knowledge and political connections to further strengthen the family's position within the country's power structures. Alongside the Kiwanukas, another prominent family in Uganda's business landscape is the Senseo Kabias, whose legacy was shaped by the late John Senseo Kabia, a respected figure in engineering, business, and politics. Before his passing in 2019, Kabia amassed a substantial fortune estimated at around $30 million, primarily from strategic real estate investments in the capital, Kampala. Today, the Senso Kabia family continues to oversee the late patriarch's vast estate and maintain their influential position in Uganda's evolving economic landscape. The family's ability to navigate the complexities of the Ugandan market and capitalize on emerging opportunities has been crucial in preserving their status as one of the country's most prominent business dynasties. The Ruga family has carved out their substantial wealth through a strategic foray into Uganda's coffee industry. In 2003, the family patriarch, Andrew Ruga, launched the pioneering venture of Good African Coffee, becoming the first African-owned coffee brand to grace the shelves of major supermarkets in the UK and the US. This transformative endeavor has served as the foundation for the Ruga family's considerable wealth, propelling them into the ranks of Uganda's financial elite, Andrew Ruga's vision and entrepreneurial spirit have been recognized with prestigious accolades, including the Legatum Pioneers for Prosperity Award and a 2010 nomination for the Financial Times Arshalor Middle Boldness in Business Award. These honors underscore the family's innovative approach and their ability to break new ground in Uganda's evolving business landscape. Alongside the Rugas, the Cabanero family stands as another powerhouse in Uganda's business arena with a collective fortune estimated at around $95 million. The Cabanero's wealth is derived from a diverse array of business interests, ranging from high-end casinos to significant real estate holdings. At the helm of this expansive empire is Bob Cabanero, who has skillfully navigated the country's complex economic landscape, expanding the family's ventures across multiple sectors, including logistics, import-export, and the hospitality industry. The Cabanero's ability to identify and capitalize on emerging opportunities has been instrumental in the growth and diversification of their business portfolio, solidifying their position as a force to be reckoned with in Uganda's private sector. Amongst Uganda's prominent business dynasties, the Madani family stands as a symbol of enduring success, with roots tracing back to 1912 when the late Muli Prabudus Madani founded the Madani Group. Today, the next generation of Madanis has taken the reins, steering the group forward and maintaining the family's legacy as one of the most influential business entities in the country. The Madani group's wealth primarily stems from a diverse portfolio spanning manufacturing and tourism, with interests in sugar production, biomass energy, packaging, insurance, construction, tea, and communication. This multifaceted approach has been instrumental in enabling the family to weather economic fluctuations and remain a dominant player in Uganda's evolving business landscape. The Madani family's ability to adapt to changing market conditions and capitalize on emerging opportunities has been a key driver of their continued success. By diversifying their investments and maintaining a strategic focus across multiple industries, the family has managed to build a robust and resilient business empire that has stood the test of time, 
One of the hallmarks of the Madani Group's success has been its commitment to innovation and technological advancement. The family has consistently invested in modernizing their operations, adopting cutting-edge technologies and processes to enhance efficiency and competitiveness. This focus on innovation has allowed the Madani Group to maintain a leading position in their respective sectors, solidifying their reputation as forward-thinking and adaptable entrepreneurs. The stories of the Ruguses, the Cabaneros, and the Madanis illustrate the diverse pathways to wealth and influence within Uganda's private sector each family carving out their place among the country's financial elite through a unique combination of strategic vision, entrepreneurial spirit, and adaptability. The Shukla family has also carved out a substantial fortune, with their wealth estimated at $15 million. This comes from the Shuk Group of Companies, a sprawling business empire that encompasses real estate, aluminum production, recycling, and hospitality. Mukesh Shukla, the family's patriarch, is a well-known Ugandan entrepreneur, business mogul, and politician who has spearheaded the group's expansion. The Bacha family, led by the visionary Patrick Bacha, stands as one of Uganda's most prominent business dynasties, boasting an impressive net worth exceeding $110 million. At the heart of the family's wealth and influence is the Simba Group of Companies, a dynamic conglomerate that has evolved significantly since its inception as a telecom venture in 1998. Under Patrick Bacha's strategic leadership, the Simba Group has diversified its operations, extending its reach across a range of sectors, including power generation, agribusiness, mining, tourism, and media. This strategic expansion has transformed the Simba Group into a formidable player in the East African business landscape, employing over 600 people directly and creating opportunities for an additional 1,500 indirectly. The Bacha family's ability to navigate the complexities of multiple industries and capitalize on emerging opportunities has been instrumental in the conglomerate's remarkable growth. By continuously identifying new avenues for expansion and investment, the Bachas have solidified their position as one of the most influential business clans in Uganda, serving as a symbol of the country's economic dynamism and entrepreneurial spirit. The Bacha family's success story is but one chapter in the broader narrative of Uganda's most prominent business dynasties, whose enduring legacies have continued to unfold over the years. The Wavamuno family, led by Gordon Babala Chiante Wavamuno, had also maintained its status as one of Uganda's wealthiest, with a net worth surpassing $110 million. The family's wealth primarily came from Spear Motors, Uganda's leading car dealership, where Gordon held the exclusive rights to distribute Mercedes-Benz vehicles. Beyond automobiles, the family had once owned Wavamuno Broadcasting Service Television, though it had faced financial difficulties and tax challenges, ultimately ceasing operations as a public broadcaster. Gordon's influence had even extended internationally, as he had served as Uganda's honorary consul to Hungary. The Wavamuno family's journey had become a testament to resilience, adaptability, and a deep understanding of business opportunities. Another prominent figure in both media and banking was Aaron Musa, with a remarkable worth of $200 million. Musa had carved out a niche for himself through a combination of strategic business ventures and cutting-edge services. While he preferred to stay out of the spotlight, his impact was undeniable. He had developed a reputation for offering unique financial services that catered to a wide range of needs, making a significant mark not just in Uganda, but also in neighboring regions. Musa's success in the media industry, combined with his pioneering work in banking, highlighted his versatility and forward-thinking approach, firmly establishing him among Uganda's top millionaires. The Lani family, led by the accomplished Sandalani, stood among the country's wealthiest with a family fortune of over $300 million. After studying at several prestigious universities abroad, Sanda had returned to Uganda to leverage his education and experience. Over the past two decades, he had transformed the Roofings Group into a dominant force in steel manufacturing, establishing three major factories that drove the family's substantial net worth. The Laney family's success extended beyond business. Sanda was married to Winnie Abuti Lani, and together, they had eight children. Their collective achievements and business ventures had firmly established the Lannis as a leading financial force in Uganda, 
showcasing their ability to excel in diverse fields and build a lasting legacy. The Empire family had also become a standout name in Uganda's elite circles, thanks to their remarkable wealth and influence. Led by Charles Empire, whose net worth exceeded $350 million, they had become one of the country's most prominent and affluent families. Charles had played a crucial role in building this wealth through his involvement in a variety of high-profile businesses and multinational corporations. The family's portfolio included major names like Escom Uganda Limited, Invesco Uganda, Afro Alpine Pharmacy Limited, MTN Uganda, and Pino Holdings, among others. Each of these enterprises had significantly contributed to their impressive fortune, and Charles's strategic investments and leadership had established the Empire family as key players in Uganda's economic landscape, showcasing their ability to thrive across multiple industries and secure their place among the wealthiest families in the country. The Hamid family stood out among Uganda's wealthiest, with a staggering net worth of over $400 million. At the helm was Mohamed Hamid, a prominent businessman and investor born in 1976. He was the driving force behind the A Group, where he served as owner and chairman of the executive board. In 2015, Forbes recognized Mohamed as the second richest African under 40, trailing only Tanzanian billionaire Mohamed Duji. The A Group, under his leadership, had become a major industrial conglomerate in Uganda, with interests spanning transportation, investments, and food processing, employing more than 5,000 people. The group reflected the immense scale and influence of the Hamid family's business ventures. The Hedri family's enduring legacy, a diversified Ugandan business empire. The Hedri family, based in Kampala, has long been recognized as one of Uganda's wealthiest, with an impressive net worth of $850 million. At the heart of this formidable fortune stands Kareem Hedri, a prominent businessman and entrepreneur who was born in November 1950. Kareem Hedri has been a driving force in Uganda's business landscape since the late 1960s, and the company he founded, Dembe Enterprises, has evolved into the expansive Dembe group of companies. This diversified conglomerate encompasses a wide range of ventures, including a radio station, an auto dealership, a finance and insurance firm, an amusement park, and the renowned Imperial Hotels Group. Kareem's influence and expertise extend beyond the Dembe Group, as he has also made significant investments in the real estate sector, owning the iconic Cham Towers, formerly known as the Uganda Commercial Bank Towers. His remarkable journey of growth and innovation has cemented the Hedri family's place among Uganda's top financial elites serving as a testament to their entrepreneurial spirit and strategic vision. Alongside the Hedri family, another prominent business dynasty in Uganda is the Ruparelia clan, whose wealth and influence extend across various sectors. At the helm of this diversified empire is Sudhir Ruparelia, a savvy businessman whose impact can be felt in numerous industries. Sudhir's influence extends into the education sector, where his contributions have positively impacted the landscape. In the realm of broadcasting, he has also left his mark, showcasing his ability to navigate diverse industries. Real estate and floriculture further highlight the Ruparelia family's business versatility, with investments in both commercial and residential properties, as well as in the floral industry. However, the hospitality sector remains a significant part of the Ruparelia family's portfolio, with the ownership and operation of several hotels and resorts contributing substantially to their wealth. Beyond the business realm, Sudhir Ruparelia has also been involved in diplomatic efforts, working with various international consulates, including the Consulate of the Republic of Nepal to Uganda, which underscores the family's global connections and influence. The stories of the Hedri and Ruparelia families exemplify the multifaceted nature of Uganda's prominent business dynasties. From Karim Hedri's pioneering efforts in building the Dembe Group to Sudhir Ruparelia's strategic diversification across industries, these families have demonstrated their ability to navigate the country's evolving economic landscape and cement their status as formidable players in the private sector. The relationship between their wealth, diversified investments, and far-reaching influence underscores the pivotal role these families play in shaping Uganda's economic trajectory. As the country continues to undergo transformation, the continued success and adaptability of the Hadri and Ruparelia clans will undoubtedly shape the future of Uganda's business landscape, 
solidifying their enduring legacies as among the nation's most influential and prosperous families. Sudhir Ruparelia's broad range of investments and international collaborations not only highlight his business success, but also reinforce the Ruparelia family's premier status among Uganda's elite. In Uganda, many of the wealthiest families are centered in the capital, Kampala, which serves as a bustling hub for high-value businesses. Uganda's rapid progress in reducing poverty has paved the way for a number of influential figures who now stand among the country's richest. This progress has also helped Uganda emerge as one of East Africa's most prosperous nations. These affluent families come from diverse industries, each contributing to the nation's economic growth by introducing innovative ideas and ventures. Uganda's robust and thriving economy enables it to hold its own against other African countries in terms of wealth and business opportunities. The impact of these top Ugandan families on the country's economic landscape is undeniable, as they have leveraged their resources, expertise, and global connections to drive progress and cement their positions as leaders in various sectors. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.